Welcome back. We're here with Frontline Solvers Risk Solver Professional version 11.01. I say 0.01 because they've updated it to fix some of the things we identified last week during our previous um, review of the additive model. Like with the other packages, we're going to do 50, fit this 50 trials of data and then we're going to fit 150,000 trials of data and see how the tool behaves. Our first thing is see how many steps it takes to do the distribution, uh, how it behaves while we fit a large data set, is there the ability to import, uh, how many fitting methods, fitting triangulation, and can we save and share distributions. Step number one. So we need to select the data one press the button two now I find this a bit counterintuitive because if you do it the other way it's not going to prompt you it's going to tell you haven't selected the data so not great you'll figure it you know it's like burning your fingers you do it a few times and you kind of figure it out so now we have the range over here. Um, we'll say that we'll take Anderson Darling as our primary fit and we're going to do continuous so we're going to fit here. And that worked relatively well. So it picked up an ERF distribution or a normal. So we'll pick this. So. Um, and now what we want to do, and again, this is kind of counterintuitive, you need to uh, close the dialog box, so that's three, and then, and then pick where you want to put it. So this is kind of cute where you have this pulling along, so i got to give them points for that. And we're going to put that over here. And we have an earth distribution, and it's shifted. And here are the properties of that distribution with the cumulative plot and so on. And we could even give it a name just to make the point that it works. So the name. And this little guy over here works just fine. So we would have to say univariate fit. OK. And there we go. So that's done. So that handled it pretty well. Save the changes. <clears throat> and over here, we're going to do the 150,000 trials. So same principle. We highlight the data. Fit. So of course, being um, <clears throat> a much larger data set, this is going to take a little longer. And here we go. So it's loaded. The, and let's do it again on Anderson Darling. And let's hit fit. The power of the machine makes a big difference uh, when you're doing fitting, as we saw with the other packages. So we're just going to see how that goes. And what we're going to do is we're going to pause and come back and give you a breakdown on how long that took. OK, and we're back. And you've just saved yourself about seven minutes. And the result is that it correctly fitted the gamma distribution. However, it used a shift uh, parameter. And um, we have the, the formula right here, which we could examine. We'll do that once we insert it. And we, have, we could look at the various different fits. So we could also look at the Erlang distribution. And that 
that matches up pretty closely and then if we want to look at the max extreme so this overlay feature is quite nice and then if we wanted to just focus on the gamma so we have quartile to quartile so this little graph takes a little time to generate it auto generates every time you open it so that's a little it seems to be a little intensive in terms of calculations however we'll give it a chance to populate It's coming. As um, so, the usefulness of using the the PP and the QQ um, graphs, though apparently this is extremely uh, uh, intensive because I'm looking at the computer and it's using 100% of my resources. But it, the straighter and cleaner the line, the better your fit is. So here we go. It's coming. And there we go. So what we can see is that we have the PP chart over here, the Q cube. And then we have the comparison before. So that's the PP. The Q cube, we saw it. It had the those interesting and then we could look at the differences however as we see this is kind of intense so yes we want to accept it it's going to ask us where we want to put it as in before uh, maybe that might not be the fastest way to go so we're just going to pull that up like so and put it next to it and there we go and here is that distribution so we'll just click that so number of steps to fit a distribution so that was one two then we select so it's about um, it's about five steps if we include that we need to pick Anderson darling uh, the answer is yes it's kind of slow though I have to say um, I didn't see any ability to uh, fit um, using import data number of fitting methods well they have the three so here we'll put a no method triangulation no and the ability to share and save distributions um, yes it does do it it's called a dist so you would have to say you would have to take the trial data coming out so all these 150,000 trials would be enco encoded into a dist and you can save and share those and different packages which are not risk solver do work with the dist so the answer is yes a dist by the way will encode 150,000 trials in a cell so it's kind of nifty well, that concludes our individual tests. Um, the next um, presentation will deal with uh, comparing and just uh, getting our notes together. So if you have any questions, as usual, give us a call at one 879 or drop us an email at etorkia, that's E-T-O-R-K-I-A, at technologypartners, with a Z, dot com. Thank you very much.